Okay, so today is Sunday, April 4th. It is day four of camp and I have I have a lot to do today. I have a lot that I wanna do, a lot I wanna work on. Number one thing I need to get out of the way for sure, I'm gonna do that right now, is I need to work on Ben. I need to do some writing for Ben. I gotta get my 400 words at the very least. And then I can do all the other things that I need to get done today. Most of the day I think will be spent editing. It's just gonna be one of those sitting down on my couch for hours editing kind of days. So that's the majority of today, but I also need to go see my parents. I also need to wash and do my hair at some point because if you can't tell, my hair's a bit greasy. That's why it's up. That's why I'm just, I, I don't know if you'll be able to see it, but I found a white hair this morning when I put my hair up, it was like, right there. You know how it has that weird, like it has like a different texture than the rest of your hair? So it was just there, it's just like, I left it. Occasionally over the years I have found gray hairs here and there and I've usually, always I've pulled them out. I've pulled them out, I've pulled them out. But this morning I saw it and I went to pull it out. I said, no, it's beautiful. It's doing its little thing. It's just trying to grow. You know, just just embrace it. Just let it, that's fine. You're not 20 anymore and that's okay, okay? It's not shameful. It's a little badge of honor. <laughs> Growing old is a privilege and I feel very fortunate to have it. <sighs> so I need to fit all these things that I wanna get done today and work on today into the next 10 and a half hours. That's the amount of time I have. So I need to just do as much as I can in that time. I'm feeling really good about this story and making it better and I'm, I'm excited. I, I was reading over some of the stuff that I rewrote and then I was reading over the current scene that I'm rewriting. I'm really looking forward to sending these chapters to my critique partners and getting their feedback on it because I feel like I do need a little bit of, of help. Like I have I have some thoughts on how, on like what I think I need and what I think is lacking and what I, you know, I have some thoughts and some ideas, but I'm really looking forward to kind of bouncing those ideas off other people. But anyway, I'm gonna get to some writing and it's gonna be, it's gonna be great. Before I get into some writing, there's something I wanted to document because it makes me so happy and I was just walking by to get some water and I saw it and it made me happy and I just wanna document it, okay? Okay. So over the winter, my plants haven't really, you know, been growing at all. But look what's happening now. There are so many new ones growing. Like, how cute is that? And then down here, like, look, look how far out they come. And then this one, this is a brand, this one just opened. This one just opened. There's a little one. I just love when things are growing. This is a new one that just finally opened up. Like, look at it. Oh, it's so soft. And this guy has some new ones coming. Like, look. So freaking cute. And yeah, so that's a little impromptu plant update. They're 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 growing and they're making me so happy. It just makes me so happy when I see like new blooms and like new new leaves coming. Like it just I get so excited. I get so excited. Some days I just get in here and I give him a hug. Cause he's so cute. Anyway. That's enough of that. It's really bright in here, Jesus. Okay, I'm gonna do some writing now. Honestly, I don't do this enough, but put lime juice in your water. It is so refreshing. I love it so much. I mean, I love my warm lemon water, but if I'm just drinking water throughout the day, putting a little lime in it, like lime, it is just so refreshing, okay? I've just finished the second scene of chapter two. I think this scene is severely lacking in the stuff that it needs to be good. So I'm gonna have to work on that a bit, but it is, again, it is better than the zero draft, marginally. But at this point, I'm taking marginal progress, you know, like I'm taking, I'm taking it. I'm taking all the wins I can get. That's what I'm doing, okay? But yeah, that's exciting. I have finished, I have finished chapter two. Oh, I'm at 799 words for the day. I can't do that. I need to. Where can I add one more word? Oh, I can do a thing now. I get to cross off chapter two from my little Ben draft two list of things that I need to do. Okay. Now on to chapter three. I think I like chapter three. Do I like chapter three? What's going on here? Ooh, chapter three is chunky. It has five scenes and 7,237 words. What happens? Oh yeah, oh yeah. 
<laughs> okay, chapter three is good. Chapter three, I mean, it's not written well, but I'm really looking forward to starting this chapter tomorrow. Ew, my original stand-in name for the grooming salon is so bad. <laughs> yeah, there's definitely gonna be some changes, although I don't hate it. Okay, no more Ben stuff today. I am done with the Ben work. I need to move on to the next thing on my long list of things I need to get done. So I'm gonna do a little bit of reading and then I'm gonna get right into editing and I'll probably, oh, it's already three o'clock. I gotta go see my parents. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna read for like 15 minutes, go see my parents and then come home and do everything else I need to do. <laughs> well, hello. So today is April 5th. It is day five of camp and it's about 10, almost 10.30. I'm incredibly sleepy. I got up for work this morning at like 5.30 and I didn't get home until 8.30ish. I did pass by. I had to go finish doing my taxes, so I did that. And yeah, I got home about 8.30, I had some food, I watched some YouTube videos, and then I did a little bit of writing. I didn't manage to get my daily word count of 400 words, but I did write for about 20 minutes and I got 228 words. So I just started chapter three. I do love this chapter, but I feel like, I mean, I think it's mainly because I, I'm really sleepy, so I'm finding it, I don't know, it was just a little bit rough to start. I'm not, I'm not loving the new words, but they are, you know, I like them better than the original words. So there's, there's progress being made, right? There's progress. But yeah, I did my writing, I did my 20 minutes for the day, and I updated my NaNoWriMo website, and everything's, everything is great. Now before I go to sleep, I still want to do another 20 minutes of video editing for YouTube stuff. I need to do last week's vlog, so I gotta get some work done on that. I'm so sleepy though, I don't, I don't know. But before I edit, okay, I got, I got two pieces of book mail today, and I haven't, had book mail in so long. And I'm really, I'm excited. Okay, I'm gonna start with the one from Indigo. I know what this one is. This should be Save the Cat, so. Oh yeah, that's satisfying. Oh, it's not Save the Cat. This one is Later by Stephen King. No. Oh, that's good. Okay, I need to add it to my Stephen King collection. I'm actually gonna do a video on my entire Stephen King collection and give some recommendations and stuff based on certain things. So I'm excited. Ah, I haven't bought a new Stephen King book in so long. Okay, so later by Stephen King, it says, the son of a struggling single mother, Jamie Conklin just wants an ordinary childhood. But Jamie is no ordinary child. Born with an unnatural ability, his mom urges him to keep secret. Jamie can see what no one else can see and learn what no one else can learn. But the cost of using this ability is higher than Jamie can imagine. As he discovers when an NYPD detective draws him into the pursuit of a killer who has threatened to strike from beyond the grave. Yes! <laughs> Later is Stephen King in his finest, a terrifying and touching story of innocence lost and the trials that test our sense of right and wrong. With echoes of King's classic novel, It, I love it. Later is a powerful, haunting, unforgettable exploration of what it takes to stand up to evil in all the faces it wears. I just love Stephen King so much. I want all the Stephen King books. I want all the editions of all the books. And it smells amazing. I love it so much. Okay, this next one is from Amazon. This one is actually so cute! So this is by, this is a self-published book. And I'm, oh, it's chunky. <laughs> it's a chunky one. Oh, it looks so cute. Okay, so this is a self-published book. I haven't bought a self-published book in so long. This is The Anti-Virginity Pact by Katie Wismer. This isn't a genre that I go for. Like it isn't a genre that I read all that much. I don't, I don't, I don't have an aversion to it. I just don't really, you know, I don't really, I haven't really reached for this genre in my adult life all that much, but I do want to support, you know, a fellow author. I do want to support a fellow YouTuber. And I'm excited to read this book. I'm actually currently reading her latest release, The Anti-Relationship Year. So, oh, there's no smell. There's no smell. Did I lose it again? Oh no, I still have it. Oh, that's a good smell. It doesn't really have any smell. Aw, 
Wow, I can't get over how chunky it is. Okay, the anti-virginity pact. Preacher's daughters aren't supposed to be atheists. They're also not supposed to make pacts to lose their virginity by the end of the year, but high school senior Meredith Beaumont is sick of letting other people tell her who to be. Spending the last four years as mute mayor, the girl so shy just thinking about boys could trigger panic attacks, Meredith knows exactly what it's like to be invisible. But when a vindictive mean girl gets her manicured claws on the anti-virginity pact and spreads it around the school with the mayor's signature at the bottom, Mare's not so invisible anymore. She just wishes she was. Now the girls mutter slut as they pass her in the hall and the boys are lined up to help complete her checklist. When she meets a guy who knows nothing of the pact, their budding romance quickly transforms from a way to get her first time over with to a genuine connection. But when the pact threatens to destroy her new relationship and the fragile foundation of her seemingly perfect family, Mare has to decide what's more important, fixing her reputation and pleasing her parents or standing up for the person she wants to be. I've been watching Katie on YouTube forever. She's one of the first author tubers that I started watching. And she's the one who's like kind of, I've stayed watching. I, a lot of other author tubers, I kind of go through phases. So like I'll watch their stuff and then I won't watch them for a while and then I'll get into them again. But she's kind of the one that has like stayed fairly consistent. And um, yeah, I like her, she seems sweet. So I'm happy to support. Okay, but now I need to do some editing, at least at least 15 to 20 minutes of editing. That's not gonna make much of a dent, but it's something, okay? That being said, I'm also really sleepy and I need to wake up again at 6 a.m. tomorrow to go to work, so I gotta do what I gotta do. I gotta, you know, I do need to sleep. I'm gonna do as much work as I can and then catch some Z's, as they say. So today is Saturday, April 5th. I wish I get five days back. Today is Saturday, April 10th. Today is the last day of this vlog. I, this week, this week. <laughs> so this past week has been, you know, really busy with work, but I have managed to write every single day. I've written every single day after work and it, it was usually, it ended up being usually around like 10 p.m. That was, that was really good that I was able to, you know, do that and, and stay consistent with that. So this morning I woke up at about 7 a.m. and I had to take a shower and get ready and I had to do some running around. I had to take my dog to the vet. I had to go see my parents. And so I've done all of that. And then I came home and I had to finish all of the back end stuff. You know what? The back end stuff takes almost as long as editing the vlog. It just, there's so much that goes into it. So yeah, I did all that back end stuff and now the video is posted and I'm free to do whatever else I need to do today. That being said, at seven I have a little girls night hangout thing planned. So I need to um, fit in a bunch of stuff in the next two hours. And then tomorrow I need to be at work for 5.30 a.m. I need to be downtown at 5.30 a.m. And we have a pretty big day tomorrow. We have a lot of background and a lot of things that the background needs to be wearing and holding and doing. So I'm feeling a little bit overwhelmed right now and like I don't have time. I don't have enough time, but um, I'm gonna get as much done as I possibly can and we'll see, you know, we'll see what happens. I'm gonna write today, obviously. I don't want to break my streak. That is what? When I write today, that'll be a 10-day streak. That's my longest ever streak, so... <clears throat> I'll probably write for only 20 minutes today. I, I really wanted to spend more time, but having just this one day off between my work weeks has definitely, I just, I, do, I just don't have enough time. And I, I, I overbooked myself a little bit, so I, I'm trying to make a little bit of time for all of the things that I need to get done, but it's proving to be pretty difficult. I don't like rushing things and I don't like, you know, I, I like taking my time with things, so. It's a little rough, but um, I will be writing for about 20 minutes. I probably won't vlog my writing session, so I will put on the screen what my final word count is for the week. So I'm still on scene one of chapter three. I really like this chapter, but um, it definitely needs, it needs a lot of work. I see the potential and I really wanna make it, you know, really good, you know, important things happen in this chapter, so. Okay, speaking of word counts and writing and stuff, I, dude, I have been on a bit of a, I've been ordering books lately. I've been ordering a bunch of books and um, I'm gonna do a whole separate video on unboxing all the books that I've been buying. Kind of like a book haul video, you know? I haven't bought this many books in a long time, so I, I, I'm excited. But anyway, this is a separate book, separate from those books that I can unbox here. This is, pretty sure, this is Save the Cat, which I ordered when I ordered, if you watched my last vlog, I ordered Save the Cat and Later by Stephen King. I just did my nails, so I'm trying to be careful. I 
I'm actually really looking forward to, you know, reading Save the Cat. I feel like I hear a lot of good things. Oh god, I love unboxing books. Oh yeah, oh my god. I'm so glad that I got my smell back. So far, 10 out of 10 for smell. See, now that I'm working again and like making a little bit of money, I am I see myself, I can feel it already, um, that I'm just gonna go really hard on buying a bunch of books. Like, I'm just gonna buy a bunch of books. Like I just, <sighs> save the cat, finally came. I'm really excited, it smells great. <sighs> and it smells so familiar. I feel like I'm gonna read it and look at all the beats and I'm gonna be like, I don't have most of those beats. I don't know, or maybe, maybe I'll read it and be like, oh my god, I somehow hit all of the beats that I was supposed to hit. I highly doubt that. Anyway, I'm excited for this. So I don't think there's anything else that I need to update. I've just been working again. That's all I really do. Monday to Friday is mostly just work. So it is time for today's Stay Gold comment shout out. And today's shout out goes to Laura from Laura Writes. I love her, she's great. She's currently vlogging her camp experience, but also her journey to querying. She wants to query her novel um, by the end of the year. So that's a lot of fun. Definitely go check her out and subscribe if it's something that you're into. Laura, I'm I'm so happy that you introduced me to that show with Penn Badge. I love Penn Badgley so much. Obviously, I Googled and YouTubed that show, The Mountain, and I watched, you know, a bit of what was available. And oh my god, Penn Badgley looks like an infant. He's so <laughs> his long hair. It honestly made me so happy. It made my day. I, uh, it, it's so good. It's so good. And I really want to watch. I, I think it's only one season, but I want to watch it. I want to watch it. It just, it looks great. So thank you for bringing the show into my life. I am forever grateful for that. But yeah, let me know how you're doing. Let me know how your camp is going, how your projects are going, how your writing is going, how you're feeling. Tell me things. Tell me all the things. Let me know what your favorite self-published book is. Or if you have a book that's coming out, let me know. I am definitely, I am doing a thing and I just really want, I want all of the self-published books. So thank you so much for watching. And if you got to the end of this video, comment down below, stay gold because you are golden. And yeah, I'll see you in the next one.